So this video is gonna be about the PM74 and, it, and uh, how uh, the PM74 sends information through the local nut to JMRI, which I've got here. I just did a video and uh, what I wanted to do here was I got three different engines. This is the newest probably decoder in there, middle. This is probably the oldest decoder I've got. And what I'm gonna do is run through each one of them and I'm going to do the same thing, but unlike last time, I'm not going to change any or fix anything as it goes along. And I'm trying to watch to see how the enter, uh, enter and exit show up here and how it kind of affects that, uh, the display up here. So I'm going to run the trains around section one, start into section two. Go up to section three, back up to section two, and then go into section four. And then I'm going to pick up with my hands the engine, move it off, and then do the next one. So I'm going to go through three engines because what of the things I've been now observing is they basically all work a little different. So let's see what we got. Okay, so there's the camera. And there's the engine. So I got an engine sitting there. That'd be my 4141, which is the newest. And boom, off we go. And I'll run them a little fast to try to get it over with. Quickly. So coming up to the second section. Give it a minute since it is left. See, it's just, I should be waiting longer for the number to show up, or the ID. Okay, so I've switched it so I can reverse the engine and go into section three now for 127. Okay, that worked nicely. Going back to section two for 126. Give it a second, I'm gonna flip the switch. I can get in section four, fix my section three so it doesn't derail next time I come through. Not seeing anything jump up. Backing up into section four or 128. Now I'm gonna guess that when, so I'm gonna pick the engine up and I believe when I pick it up, you're gonna see an exit command and it should then uh, show the number for a split second. 4141, so picking up engine and setting the engine somewhere else on the table. Okay, second engine up. So I'll be setting it down in that section. And hopefully I won't do cause short. Okay, engine is in. I'm gonna make sure correct throttle. Engine selected. Okay, direction, boom, okay, so moving on to the table again, D table. Engine number shows up, all looks good. Speeding it up just to get through it quickly. Slowing it down to go into section two or 126. Into 126. Almost missed a switch. Boom. Not seeing an engine number, not seeing an engine number. Give it a minute. I've seen this one kind of show up. I'm gonna flip my switches so I can go to section three. Four, 127. Ah, finally showed up. Got it. So reverse. 
So going into section three, 127, engine's running. I'll sit there for a minute in case it'll show up. They will make a comment in. Yeah, okay, it might show up sometime, but not within a reasonable amount of time. So flipping direction, going forward. Typically you'll see it show up there, then there, and then disappear. Okay, so I'm back in, that's part of the layout. I put my switch back, going into section four, 128, change my direction. Ending up on the side there, give it a minute. Flipping my switches for next time I go through the ladder. Okay, still not showing up in a reasonable amount of time. Here, I'll give it a minute while I set the next train down. Ah, ah, now what's interesting, I have just set, okay. So, I have just set my train right there, and that is number 77. You can see my number 77 showing up there, and that is not engine number 77. So, again, a little flaky on the stuff. I just pulled the engine that number off, set it aside. Camera back in spot. Okay, now I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna check my switches. Now with this engine, this, I have never seen it register in this section, section one, unless there was another train with it. So engine's moving, it's now in section one or 125 and notice how nothing's showing up still so again i believe a good part of this is the issues are either i don't know what i'm doing and haven't set something up right or again it's the order jmri is sending this stuff so i'm going down the switch ladder or the ladder for my train yard and notice how the number shows up. And by the way, I intentionally left this number um, under your tables, your ID tag. You can go in and change it to say like Amtrak 77, but that's how this, it shows up by default. Okay, so I'm gonna switch my direction. And then go into section three or 127. There we go. And again, since I have to look at two places, I can't actually see if all the items are occurring on screen like I think they are. So this one again ended up nicely there. So I will move forward. As I said, each engine seems to do its own thing or act differently. But I still believe the PMs at this point, I believe the PM 74 is actually operating as expected. And I'm happy with it and plan on moving forward with them. I do believe it is a mistake set to uh, connect as many sections of track together as I have because you can only really one, run one set of trains through here at a time because when you start having multiple numbers show up, 
it starts having issues. So point, I believe, only one engine with transponding should be in a section at a time. That's what I believe for the PM74. Okay, so the last engine is sitting there. Don't need to pick it up, and the ID is not showing up in a reasonable amount of time. So anyhow, again, what I had to hope to accomplish with this is I'm going to go back in and watch to see how the enter and the exit commands go through the table, rep reporter's table, and um, see how it looked on there as far as order. That's it.